Alrighty, YouTube. So we are back. Yesterday, I had made a community post because I said I was going to do this after my um, little video of comparing the two characters, right? Red Hood versus Cinderella, right? I did a comparison video there. And uh, by the end of that video with the comparisons, I told you guys, I'm going to make a community post and I want you guys to decide who was the better anniversary unit, unit in today's meta overall, right? Is it Red Hood? Or is it Cinderella? So that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be reacting to some of you guys' comments. There's 154 comments. We're not going to go through all of it because I'm pretty sure we're going to get some of the same answers here. Majority of the time, that's how it is. I'm going to try to answer a pretty good chunk of it. How it works is I'm going to give my opinion on it. And then I'm going to go down the list. So make sure you guys subscribe and like. I'm not going to ask for a cer certain amount of subscribers or like um, number this time, right? If you guys want to like, like. If you want to subscribe, then subscribe, right? But um, yeah, let's get into the video. So yesterday I had asked community reaction, which is the better anniversary unit in today's meta overall? DPS, supporting towards the team, flexibility, etc. 70% said Red Hood and 30% said Cinderella. And from what I've seen, I think this has caused a little bit of trauma, uh, drama in the comment section from what I remember, but we'll see, right? Um, yeah, so obviously Red Hood won. Red Hood is the first anniversary character. Cinderella is the new one, the second one. Um, I think Cinderella is the better anniversary unit in today's meta. I think Red Hood is better than Cinderella. At this game, when you think about this game, yes, when it comes to DPS, DPS is very, very, very important because if you have the DPS, then you're going to clear, right? You need the DPS to clear. Even now with Anomaly Interception, that's not necessarily based on if you're able to survive or not. I'm not going to say survivability isn't a factor, but that's literally based on how much DPS you're able to do, right? The higher damage you do, the better the reward you get. That's how that is. It's not like a, oh, try to survive for this long and if you do do it then you're gonna possibly win this is not like the other interception anomaly interception is literally based solely on dps right um and that's the same thing kind of with solo raid same thing as well with union raid like a lot of these permanent big contents are all dependent on dps and i feel like cinderella has that over red hood obviously but overall it's literally impossible for anyone to tell me cinderella is better than red hood overall right don't get me wrong red hood does not do bad damage either red hood does not do bad damage is her damage as good as cinderella definitely not but is her damage bad no she is still one of the hardest hitting characters in the game not to mention she's one of the most broken supports in the game right i think the fact that red hood is a burst one two and three character automatically puts her in the top two um and it's just because she's able to use burst one burst two and burst three a feat that nobody else has cinderella is just a stronger um scarlet black shadow right she has other mechanics like the decoy is pretty cool as well right that's not a new thing but the decoy is you know cool the charge one time and then just infinitely shoot with your normal attack and then have additional damage on top of that that's very cool right don't get me wrong she does hit very 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 hard yes but does she have the type of sustain and just overall factors that red hood has no so i do believe red hood is better just because again burst one two and three and she's very broken on her burst three very broken on her burst one and her burst two can be useful if you need a burst two to fill in red hood is the only character in the game that can do that um even though you have you know your burst two died if your burst two on your team died red hood is the only character in the game that she couldn't replace that mid battle right um her burst two isn't the best i think it's okay if they it would have been good if they gave her damage reduction it's literally taunt and then she heals based on her damage and she's gonna fully heal because she does big damage but she needs damage reduction as well i feel like um or she's just gonna get nuked if she's taunting all enemies um so yeah i do agree that red hood is the better character overall i just think cinderella is way way stronger and it, it comes down to what you guys determine do you guys value dps more or do you value everything over like it, it should be everything right because red hood has dps as well so just let's go um so let's take a look asha the one cinderella is a good dps um uh, might be the best dps in the game at the moment she has a lot of other skills that make her a top tier unit in the game um and is mentioned to be the strongest nk lore wise right next to lilith however red hood can act as both the main dps second dps and supporter not only that but her burst um one heals herself a lot her burst two acts as a taunt 
not increasing um, in case you're trying to keep your main DPS from getting attacked. And to this day, her burst 3 is one of the most hard-hitting bursts in the game. True. Overall, Cinderella is a better DPS, while Red Hood is more universal in terms of skills. It's really close, but I'd personally say that Red Hood is still the better unit. And I don't think at, at 95 upvotes, right? 95 upvotes. I don't think this... I think this right here sums it up. <clears throat> I think this sums it up. That's literally just true. I'm sorry, y'all, but DPS is not everything. A DPS is not everything. Um, I'm not going to act like DPS isn't a major factor, but it's just not everything. Yeah, I'm not going to say because someone hits harder than another character, they're better than a, another character, right? Because there was a lot of characters who hit harder than Scarlet, but a lot of you guys won't say, not the Black Shadow Scarlet. There's a lot of characters who hit harder than OG Purple Electric Scarlet, and a lot of you guys won't say that, right? So I don't want to really hear the logic of, oh, she hits harder, that means she's number one, because we weren't seeing that when there were so many characters hitting way harder than the OG Scarlet, like within especially the last year, like the second half of 2023. So many characters came out hitting way harder than Scarlet. So I don't I don't really know what happened there. But um depends on what you want. If you want flexibility, it's Red Hood. If you want raw DPS it's Cinderella. The thing is you can get raw DPS from Red Hood too. Just not as much as Cinderella, but it is definitely there. Right? Um F the meta, Red Hood clears because she's awesome. Sure, that's fine. Um I mean, it's valid, but sure. I think Cinderella is cooler than Red Hood personally. Um, I do think Cinderella is way cooler than Red Hood personally, but I do think Red Hood is stronger. She, um, she must have been eaten by a wolf dressed up in her grandma. What? Up as her grandma in the game because Red Hood still hasn't shown up. Okay. Um, I don't know what that means. Um, as Red Hood would say, you can't beat the oldies. Okay, that's true, yeah. Red Hood doesn't need a team comp. And, uh, well... Let me not say Red Hood doesn't need a team comp. Red Hood still needs a team comp. Early on, can she clear a lot of the stuff by her lonesome? Yes, she can. Um, but late game, she definitely still needs a team comp. She just becomes more universal, um, having the ability to fill in for dead allies, essentially. Right? Um, and she is she can complement every team. Like, Red Hood fits on any and every single team, no matter how you want to look at it. Right? If you need a burst one, right? If you're using a burst one who's on a 40-second cooldown, Red Hood can replace and be the second burst one for that team same thing goes for burst two and same thing goes for burst three like it's just it's you can't you can't um uh they're both the best at their own thing red hood is the best at being a versatile pick cinderella is the best damage dealer i honestly view red hood crown and cinderella all on the same level um edit i still think it would have made more sense for cinderella to be a burst one two and three than red hood from the story uh from a story standpoint red hood fought on a team um whereas cinderella basically was her entire team yeah and that's kind of why um i was expecting cinderella to be a burst one two and three right one for multiple reasons actually one because red hood was a burst one two and three i thought they were going to keep the little trend of okay the anniversary characters um can be burst one two and three right because now we have to let you wait a whole nother year most likely or maybe just a half anniversary i'm not sure but i don't know when we're gonna get another burst of one two and three right um and i only knew that red hood would get replaced if they had made cinderella a burst one two and three if cinderella could have done five billion damage instantly she probably would have been the best if cinderella could do five billion damage in like one burst she would have been the best in the game right because that's literally you're nuking the entire game if she could do that you're nuking the entire game um making it that you don't even need a team you just need a burst and there's a lot of characters in the game that give you your burst skill instantly right Take a look at D, Killer Wife, or not D, Killer Wife, like just that D or even um, E-Leg, right? These are two examples. With or without meta, Red Hood will always be my GOAT, and our GOATs as well. To be honest, Cinderella would make sense if Cinderella would uh, burst one, two, and three. Cindy is a one-man team, lore-wise, literally, literally. Um, Cindy needs a team like Summer Anise, uh, or Annie Summer, I guess Summer Anise, but Red Hood... Put Red Hood in first position, and she's doing all, man. Burst one, two, three, four bursts. Jar Jar Red Hood forever, dude. Um, yeah, it's true. In Red Hood words, you can't beat the Odies. Exactly. Red Hood is the is like the second best thing to ever conceivable category. In every conceivable category, she's completely clears. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think actually for a lot of you guys, because uh, a lot of you guys like Pride Wins little rankings, I'm pretty sure they did rank up Cinderella. Um, she's not here though. So Red Hood is an SS in everything but, like, you know, look, triple S, so you can't really see it. Triple S, right? And the fact that she's in burst one, burst two, and, or to burst two and burst three is where it's, like, kind of crazy, right? But they did actually rank Cinderella. Um, and let me see, because I remember seeing that, actually, right? 
I think it was on my Discord. So yeah, they gave Cinderella S in late um I guess later game. No. What is this? Oh, so S S in early game and then S in um like later of story. So S in later of story, S S in early story, um triple S in bossing and then double S in PvP. That's what they gave Cinderella for their little tier list, right? So even still, um Red Hood is still clears, right? <laughs> Red Hood is still clears. If we're going off Pride Win terms, right? Cinderella in raw damage, Red Hood in flexibility, but the fact that she has so many supports to work with, even Grave will work with her soon. Cinderella gets charged supports, um, as well but not pierce ones i think that she needs most um though is a support um most though is a support for hp to attack conversation units what am i tripping conversion units um same thing be to be needed before they only really have like mass okay basically she this person is just saying that like cinderella needs support and it's true I'm not gonna lie, Cinderella kind of does need supports, right? Like you run a team with Cinderella by herself and she doesn't have all these supports, you're not really gonna see much from her um, until she's fully stacked. Cause you guys gotta remember one thing about Cinderella is the Cinderella is only giving herself a major attack buff through her, um, her first skill, right? Which is this attack percent of the final max hp when this is fully stacked sure but other than that she doesn't have an like this is cool this is additional damage that's great right don't get me wrong she will do good damage um but i think if you're not running her with supports or just characters who's gonna give her way more hp aka supports she's not gonna be that great by herself until you have her fully stacked up and even still she's just gonna be like you know not average but just not as broken as she is with supports but then again you say that with every other character in the game so it's like doesn't really matter to me let's go a bit down here because i want to um like try to get through as much as possible but at the same time i'm just seeing red hood red hood red hood red hood because i i love my bumpkin waifu sure um i love cinderella but in my humble opinion, Red Hood is more complete, literally. Red Hood fits in any team and is more versatile. I give it to her, literally. Um, the thing is, I had to remake this post three times because the first time I just said who is the better anniversary character. Right? I wanted to ask you guys, basically, who was the best character between these two in Nikkei, like the game, right? Not who's your favorite, not which anniversary did you like more. I'm talking about who is the best, right? Not F the meta, Cinderella is beautiful. That's all I need in this game. Real answer, both are great. Red Hood is flexible. Just say Red Hood, bro. Like, just say Red Hood. Just say red hood you don't need to say don't get me wrong y'all i love cinderella right i think cinderella is way cooler than red hood personally i know a lot of you guys are not gonna agree with that but i do right but it's it's not hard to see it's not hard to see that red hood is better than cinderella a uh, burst one two and three being broken at burst one and three is more than it, you, it's all you need <laughs> it's all you need to know right she's crazy honestly i prefer red hood kind of wish that cinderella did a little more than just damage um she has her decoy but i was hoping for a little supportish uh stuff honestly i kind of agree i kind of agree um i feel like for an anniversary and how powerful cinderella is yeah it's fine that she is a hard-hitting character but i was kind of expecting a little more than just like ooga booga damage and then like a decoy that's like it's the decoy is not bad don't get me wrong that decoy is pretty good um but i was expecting a lot more than just ooga booga damage because it's like no matter how you want to look at it let's keep it a g we have a lot of hard-hitting characters Hard hitting character, 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 to an extent, hard hitting character. Give her overload gear, hard hitting character. Um, very hard hitting character, hard hitting character, hard hitting character. Um, I'm assuming I haven't really tested Phantom or Quincy with overload gear, but I'm not, I'm not gonna even say for them since I don't know yet. Hard hitting character, hard hitting character hard-hitting character we have so many hard-hitting characters and heck not even just in burst two um or burst three but in burst two as well right where's crown hard-hitting character right she's a hard-hitting character and somebody else here i feel like is a hard-hitting character probably grave when when grave comes out gonna be hard-hitting so i feel like hard-hitting like just another character with ooga booga damage was not what we needed um i'm not complaining about it at all but i think we could have gotten a little bit more because at this point in time every character that has 
has dropped within the last few months has always been a new great character for solo raid right don't get me wrong cinderella is another great character for solo raid but a little bit more they could have given her um but she's perfect I, I think she's great just a little bit more just a little bit more since i don't get cinderella yeah my luck is really bad i choose red hood that's silly but you're right regardless red hood can solo burst one two and three so no unit this far is as flexible as her literally um cinderella may hit harder but red hood is has more utility yeah i think if it was the fact that like red hood was a burst one two and three but was garbage as a burst one two and three then cinderella would be better right but red hood does so much damage it's not as much as cinderella's yes but she does do so much damage that it literally does not matter how much cinderella is doing um for her to like kind of dunk on red hood if that makes sense right because red hood's already a broken to a broken broken support if she, if she was just a good support and with garbage at burst two and garbage at burst three by all means then give it to cinderella right but for her to be a broken dps and a broken support and still be versatile as she is you cannot really tell me otherwise right both the both is good flow red hood <laughs> cindy is great for raw dps however red hood is the better for versatility literally i think a better comparison is with black or uh, scarlet black i had a reply to this someone that was like if only she was an anniversary character like come on y'all get it together we just read the question and then comment yeah i think both no red hood better uh best multi role overall yep um nothing gonna be red hood bro i finally got red hood bro is anybody here saying anything about like cinderella being better though like where are the people that voted for cinderella let me look for those comments okay i found one so someone said cinderella solos hard difficulty stages lol um yeah but that doesn't make her better that doesn't make her better because Cinderella does not actually solo hard difficulty stages. Put Cinderella on a team by herself and tell me how she's getting her burst skill off. Tell me, right? Now, it is a team-based game, so I'm not going to take that away from her. But my whole point is, if you do the same thing I just asked for Cinderella with Red Hood, she's able to do it. And I think once you understand that and that clocks in your head, then you guys will understand, right, that Red Hood is just... I'm sticking to my faith and picking Cinderella. Um, if I'm not a prince who believes... Okay, well, buddy, no. Um, but yeah, I guess it's... It, the majority, right? The More of the story, more of this little poll here is that Red Hood is just the better anniversary character, right? Um, I think everybody just knows that. I think everybody just knows that. I'm sure that some people are still going to be like, Cinderella hits harder! But red hood is a better character and it's not even like oh i want red hood to be better i'm actually quite upset that cinderella is not better than red hood because i like cinderella more than red hood i think every single anniversary the previous anniversary should get power crept by the anniversary character i think it's fair red hood was the best character from when she released and up until this day now you're telling me we have to what wait until the third anniversary for there to be another chance of red hood getting replaced like nobody wants the first anniversary character to be the best for like the rest of the game because then it's like what's the point of me summoning right <clears throat> what's the point of me summoning for all these characters if i already have the best of the best right cinderella red hood scarlet black shadow modernia summer and east those are already five dps's what more do i need right iron is crazy ludmilla what more dps's do i need right so it's like if they don't power creep red hood next year i don't really know because i i would actually just be so upset if red hood is still the best by third anniversary if she's generally still the best character in the game third anniversary i will cry about it literally but you guys let me know what you think if you guys agree or disagree i don't expect people to agree with that take specifically because i know people don't want red hood to get replaced but i feel like for in order for nikki to actually progress and for nikki to stay as relevant and good as it is now we're going to have to see some power creep eventually maybe not third year fourth year though but if we get to the fifth anniversary and the first anniversary character is still the best character in the game somehow then it's just like right i mean i still have faith in new year's new year's could always surpass the anniversary character in most games it usually does so well, let's see what happens for new year's but it's gonna be your boys out sis i'm gonna see you guys in the next one hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to share your opinion between red hood and cinderella in this video or go to the community post you guys can do that but i'm gonna see you guys in the next one i'm out peace